I went out into the wilderness, and when I picked up something, I discovered that it was connected to everything else in the world. There's nothing that can replace the hands-on experience of being outdoors. There's an immersive quality to it that you can't copy. We're hardwired to need nature. We like species other than our own. We like to see natural landscapes. We don't do so well when we don't have uh, that kind of experience. Before now, my relationship to screens was pretty much, I'd say, my life. I had nothing better to do. My main goal after school, like get my homework done so I can play games. That was pretty much the goal of every day. Even when I'm with my friends, it's like, we just do the same thing for like, on the computer or, unless right. we go to the park or something, and even then, we're like on our cell phones or something. Yeah. Probably during the day, I send about like 300, 400, 500 text messages. But during school, only about 100. And when I get home, maybe 200, but I don't really text in school anymore. After I got caught. The picture of myself without my phone would be depressing. Feel lonely. Young people today spend the least amount of time outdoors of any generation in history. And we revel in the fact that we've got all this information. Anything you want is all there except the real world. There is risk by not allowing kids to go outside. There's a risk in raising a generation of kids and future generations under virtual house arrest, a, a risk to their health, to their physical and psychological health. I've never been in a tent, but I'm really excited because, I don't know, it's just kind of exciting. It's a new experience, and I don't even really know what to expect, like if I'm going to get cold or if the tent's going to blow over. I don't really miss my phone, actually. It's kind of fun being out here. Being a nature person gives me a lot of respect for myself and for nature because nature, it was here before us and it's like respecting your elders. The road we're going now, I think we're definitely gonna have to leave Earth if that's possible, but hopefully that never comes because I really love Earth. It's my hometown. <laughs> it's fun, if not more fun than using computers just because it's something I've never experienced before really. And so just, it's like trying all these new things that you never thought you could do. Like I did not know I could make a bow and arrow that actually like shot. Let's imagine a world where our children understand the role that nature plays in their own health, in the health of their communities, the health of the economy, and also in the technologies that we develop and use. When you're outdoors, the natural environment is the teacher. And if you can elicit the right questions from your students, then they're going to have the experience that's going to be the most impactful. It's the simple little things, stepping away from the screen and opening your perception to something larger. Here, you touch it, you smell this, um, feel that, wow. You know, that's where the connection happens. The challenge for me is competing with the attention span. I'm dancing up there nonstop. I don't have to exercise during the school year. I'm burning calories. 
I installed a garden at the school to try to have a direct connection, experiential connection between the students and knowing where their food comes from. I think if we want to change things environmentally or we want to change things as stewards of this planet, we first need to believe that we are stewards of this planet and that has to be taught. The age of digital learning is here. We have a choice. We can disappear down the digital rabbit hole, or we can balance meaningful technology with hands-on outdoor learning. <laughs>